Hello, I am Nitter Rocketry, and today I will be going over underexpanded and overexpanded nozzles. An underexpanded rocket nozzle is when the propellant's pressure at the exit of the rocket nozzle is greater than the pressure of the atmosphere around it, which can be seen as P E pressure exit greater than P A T M, standing for pressure at atmosphere level and this rocket nozzle will be seen as here here's a simple convergent divergent rocket nozzle that I can draw out and the pressure will cause it to be pushed out like this out of the nozzle then be pushed down by the atmosphere but in an overexpanded rocket nozzle it will be the same thing as here except it will be less than P ATM, causing it to look a little something like this, I'm getting pushed down, and this can result in mock diamonds, which I have a video about. Now, if rocket scientists could, what they would have is the rocket nozzle, like this. I know it changes a little bit every time, but hear me out. It would be straight out coming like this, but since atmospheric pressure changes with how high in the atmosphere you are, you can't get that. Let's say at sea level, it looks like this. When it goes up higher to the atmosphere, when the pressure is a lot less, it'll be very overexpanded like this. As you can see in, if you watch a SpaceX live stream, it often looks a lot like this. Since there's no pressure, it'll just expand when a rocket nozzle is what you can call grossly overexpanded, what happens is that you have the nozzle here and it gets pushed down before it even exits the nozzle itself. And that is very bad because you always want the propellants to be sticking to the outside of the engine bell, always pushing down on it. Because if you don't have that, it is not good for a rocket. There are videos, if you can see, of amateur rockets being built like this, and it, the propellants going from side to side, just going all around, and that is really bad in a rocket because that can cause it to get the thrust to be pushed this way, causing the rocket to flip over that way, and that is not good in the very least. Scientists have developed ways to solve the problem of over and unexpanded nozzles because through the space shuttle program they had to design a rocket engine that could last from sea level all the way up to the edge of space. And that was going to be a problem for efficiency. See, a normal rocket engine would be shaped like that, but due to its high atmospheric needs, it was highly overexpanded and that wouldn't be very good at sea level. So what they did to solve this problem was at the edge of the nozzle, they had a little straight part to stop it. And this made it so that the exit pressure of the propellants was just enough so that it wouldn't cause any flow separation in the nozzle, which would have been catastrophically bad. You can tell it is overexpanded because at sea level, right when it launches, you can see mock diamonds, which clearly tells you the pressure when it exits the nozzle is less than atmospheric pressure, which I have a video about that I'll leave a link to in the description. Another way they have thought about fixing this problem of needing it to be used in the upper atmosphere and lower atmosphere is to have basically two nozzles pretty much. What they have is they have a nozzle for the lower atmosphere, which is like this. This is also a design that SpaceX is currently seemingly wanting to do because in their Starship Hopper, it seems to have this design. But they have this here for the lower atmosphere, but for upper atmosphere, it seems like they have an entirely different nozzle coming off of here, like this. So when they're in the upper atmosphere, they can have it so it expands here, 
but in the lower atmosphere they have it so that it can expand here, which will work very well because it seems like they're planning to use the Raptor engine only in the upper atmosphere and the lower atmosphere and not in between because if you use this in between you would have flow separation of the pro propellants wanting to go here but also just wanting to go here and that can be a very big problem in efficiency and safety of the rocket. If you liked today's video please consider subscribing and leaving a like that will encourage me to make more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And if you notice that I have any information, any information at all wrong, please let me know so I can fix that information. Thank you and have a good day.